Yo, what's up guys? We got Poe Game here. Today we are back with the Random Battles Road to the Top. If you guys missed any of the previous episodes, there's a playlist down below if you want to see my entire journey from a thousand points all the way up to, you know, I'm aiming for top 10. If we can go higher than that, I'd be very, very happy. If you guys do enjoy this type of content, please let me know by leaving a comment that you do enjoy it because, I mean, it makes me want to post it more. I'm already posting it every other day just because it's really fun. But I you know I like to see people excited about me. It's like, okay, cool. I'll keep doing this. And if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. I'm on the way to 300k. That is my end of the year goal. I'm like less than 14,000 subs away from uh, there as well. So if you're watching this video and you're not already subbed, if you sub today, I might even just hit 300k today just based on the views the video gets and whatnot. But yeah, we're going to be continuing the random battle climb. Let's see. Uh, you're about to see some spoilers about my rank, but I mean, it's not anything crazy. But we are 14-0 in random battles, not bad, 1363, there was a little bit of, I think there was like a point of decay from the last time. Uh, while we look for a battle, I also just want to give a quick shout out to the people who donated via Super Thanks, thank you so much Josh, I appreciate you. Jose, I know you want me to morb on the ladder. <laughs> I'm just assuming that means like what, Gliscor and Noivern and things like that. Video Bro, thank you as well. <laughs> Mr. Two. <laughs> Why? And T with much love fam, I also love my Amazon content, so I appreciate you. Uh, why'd they reveal my most broken Pokemon? <laughs> also, do you guys see my resistances? I have one resistance to this. This guy is actually a threat. Um, I don't know if Flare Cannon KOs, but I'm kind of tempted to just go for it from the get because this mod is a giant threat. So we're just going to click it. Yeah, that's, that's boosted by adaptability and everything. That is the fakest damage I've ever seen from a Magirna, but I needed this damage on this Pokemon. It is incredibly threatening to me. I can maybe go for Halucha Endgame Sweep. Why am I Choice Band on my Dredagon? Like, Life Orb would be so much better here. All right, so, uh, I I don't have Gunk Shot. I'm just gonna go for the Sewer Power. It does one of two things. It hits Steel types, it hits Levitating Steel types. I'll knock out Basculin. I don't wanna lock myself into this. Um, Earthquake obviously would have been better right there. Not quite sure what they wanna do. Uh, I guess they want to hit me with a Psy Shock uh, or Focus Blast, but I'll make the uh, Halucha play. I doubt they Focus Blast me here. Yep, the Nasty Plot. This is nice. They don't know what I am. <laughs> now I finally am able to use my Zoroark to my advantage, bro. I'm actually happy about this. Me being Choice Scarf right here. I'm pretty excited about this. I'm pretty excited about this. There you go. Oh no, how did Halucha use Dark Pulse? I'm, I'm hacking, bro. I'm hacking. And I'm Choice Scarf too, which actually helps so much versus Basculin. Also, guys, my name is Code Aim. Uh, code aim is actually 30% off for G Fuel. It's a caffeinated energy drink, so 18 plus. Be aware of what you're drinking if you do end up ordering it. But forget the product, forget all that. I have a Draco Shaker. So if you guys want to support me, feel free to pick that up. That link is down below, and Whitney already has it right here. She also has a Draco uh, hoodie. Drop a Draco hoodie. But it's sick. Over 60% of the inventory is gone. I'm hype about it. Guys, Lordingtons comes out. I do have a Magirna. I don't know if I want to go hard into it, though. Because they might Fire Blast. Hmm. I don't think they would Draco. I'm going to make the Dredagon play. I wouldn't Draco because I have a Magirna. Exactly. Like, something like that I'd go for first. I'm just going to Outrage, seeing as how they didn't bring out a Fairy last time on Dredagon. See what happens here. If they do bring out a Fairy, so be it. I have a Magirna, and I have an extra drill in the back. And just the more damage I get on Guzzlord, the better. Especially because my Zoroark looks really good. Oh, nice. And they went for the one move that didn't KO me. I guess there wasn't very many moves they could go for that would KO me in retrospect, like looking at their team or looking at their move pool, right? And if you guys want this little add-on, I have a link to that down below in the description. Oh, I got you. I got you. So there's the Pokemon I was trying to hit originally. Um, freaking threat. <laughs> that is a threat. It can definitely get up Stealth Rock here if it wants to. If it's Body Press, I, I do see Brave Bird as an option too. Magirna can endgame that and so can Zoroark. I'm going to go Chandler just in case they Body Press Raw. Yeah, they just get up a spike. Free Fire Blast, not going to predict. They're just going to sack Guzzlord anyway. And then um, my Zoroark looks really good in the end game, And my Halucha looks pretty good too. Just because of its speed tier. My Excadrill looks like the most useless thing in the world. It looks like the most useless thing in the world. But my god, does Zoroark look crazy. We're going to sack Dredagon here. That way they can't get a beast boost. They can't do anything crazy like that. I got, I got a crit, obviously. But I... I don't know if it mattered. Because Dark Pulse will still KO them here. They are faster than me, so I have to go for the Pulse. Yeah, but Dark Pulse definitely KOs. If they do Dynamax, Halucha is faster. 
Yeah, but then I'm worried about that. This is assuming they live if they Dynamax. I think they do, though. I do think they live if they Dynamax. Should I s switch and then... No, if they if they sack Guzzlord, I, I would hate switching, but I'm thinking about sacking Magirna, so that way I can go out to Halucha and revenge kill them safely. Because that looks like a decent play, right? Like, all around. I'm going to make the Magirna play, just in case they do Dynamax here. They just Fire Blast there, so, okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, that's cool. I just, I, I am lower on the ladder, but still, like, if they Dynamax, I feel like this was the better play. Because I am so weak to Basculin. Basically, Basculin. But yeah, I could have gotten a KO for free there. Whatever. Uh, assuming the Skarmory comes out, I have this. If Guzzlord comes out, I can Rapid Spin. I am going to go Extra Drill just to Rapid Spin. Uh, they might Draco here as well, just because it hits everything. So I like Rapid Spin. Also, I don't think Guz I, I don't think I knock them out. Basically, they're Salt Vest, so I definitely don't knock them out right there. But I get the speed boost, and if their Skarmory is Spikes, Bri nah, nah, nah. There's no Roost on their Skarmory. I guess that's how they even out Broken Skarmory's stats. They do out to Dynamax there, which is insane to me. Like, bro, why? Well, die. I was thinking about spinning, but now I can just straight up KO them. I think I definitely go for the KO. If this thing lives at 19 from an Excadrill, I'm going to be severely unimpressed by Excadrill. I'll be real. I'm going to be really, really, really unimpressed by Excadrill. Unfortunately, I revealed every single Pokemon, but we did manage to get their Dynamax, which is something I did not expect to happen again at 19 HP. It did live. <laughs> How? All right, well, you're not going to live at one, so <laughs> that's good at least. They also went for Max Flare. Do I Flamethrower? Because it should kill the uh, Vasculin too. No, no, no. Dark Pulse is enough for Skarmory. I just need damage on Skarmory. That way I can win the game with Halucha. I don't know their last, but again, I just need damage. Unfortunately, they know all my Pokemon because this is Zora Lucha. Sorry, buddy. I'm Scarf, and Aqua Jet will not KO me because you have the Sun Up. So this is something I want to get rid of for my Chandelure. Nice, they didn't even bother Aqua Jetting, so I stay healthy. Perfect. Yo, remember I was talking about not being able to use that Mon last time, and now it's just going crazy? Uh, we're just going to simply Dark Pulse again, because all we need is damage. Perfect. I'm pretty positive we win the game by Dynamaxing Chandler. Like, 100% win. There's also Choice. This thing doesn't... Oh, I do see Roost right there. But uh, Choice Band Close Combat... Also, probably KO Skarmory after Dark Pulse. And if I flinch them, I just win anyway. So there's no, like, lose here, in my opinion. Yeah, I definitely think they prematurely... I get the crit, but... Oh, they went for Spike, so it didn't even matter. Like, what are they gonna do? This guy can't boost. This guy has nothing. We 100% won the game. Also, it took a KO because of crit mechanics not doing double in this gen. Not bad. Alright, feels good. They had a lot of threats. They had a lot of threats. Let me get this mouse out of the way. For like potential screenshots. There's no way I put Zoro again though. In the... I think it's just so funny. It's poetic. That last time I couldn't even disguise Zoroark, and this time Zoroark was like MVP in this first one. Look at it getting it. Look at it getting a flinch. Again, none of this matters. I have Dynamax. I have a Bandit Halucha, which kills them at any given range. Uh, but you know what? Let's bring it out. Mold Breaker. Okay. Get out of my sight. And this should put us to about 1380s, I would say. So I'll, I'll take that overall. Okay, oh, good game, buddy. Yep, 1381. Not even bad. I would I would love to, if we go undefeated, if we do go undefeated, I would love to end around the 1430 point. Rotom Fan versus Kyogre. This is a really good Pokemon. Would have loved to not have it be my lead. will Nasty Nasty Plots... I don't see Thunder Wave. I love Krogano here. Another good Pokemon to have in this, in my opinion. Because it's just free Toxics. I actually have a, like a UU team. and Ignore the Kyogre. But I have like a UU. I have like a UU team here with some really, really good Pokemon. Toxic is my best play. They could reveal a Steel type. But maybe a Rock type like Tyranitar might come out, which I actually have a really good counter for. Like, my team is freaking crazy, bro. But I want Toxic overall in this just because it's annoying for Bronzong, annoying for this, annoying for this Pokemon in general. So there's a Comfy. 
I don't know if you're actually going to trick me here. We'll see if they'll trick. I'll go bronze on because it beats it 1v1 if they do. Not. Doesn't look like they're trick. Looks like they're just guaranteed tria. No, no, they were they were our choice specs for sure. So it's U-turn, draining kiss, giga drain, and trick is their set. Good to know. Um, them having that when I have a Como is almost unfair. <laughs> But we do, it does look like they don't have a steel type though, because why wouldn't you bring that out on me? This guy can hit me with some attacks. I do have a slow king, which can otherwise wall it, but I do want toxic on this guy first, especially because rain is up. And then we'll protect just to waste another turn of rain. Their life orb, um, usually swift swim type of stuff, but we're kind of just using this stuff to our advantage. Try and think, is it worth getting up rocks? I think I can afford to go slow king once. Yeah, Earthquake isn't going to do crap. Just slack off. Uh, teleport's better. Earthquake's not going to do crap to me. Yeah, and if they go that mon, I have a Rotom fan. Yeah. I go Rotom. I like the idea of just going for Freeze Dry here for Chip on this. I'm assuming it's Heavy Duty Boots. It could be Leftovers. But look at all these anti-Kyogre <laughs> answers, by the way. Very funny. Uh, but yeah, I like freeze dry. They might just try and, and thunder wave me. They thunderbolt there. They do crit me. Luckily, they do not get the para though. Uh, they wouldn't have been able to 2 KO me unless they double crit with para. But still, overall, you know, obviously I don't want that. So I'm assuming what's going to happen here is that the comfy is going to go for trick because this mod is incredibly annoying. Uh, I like the idea of my slow king, which basically just clicks scald soon, getting the item. But obviously, it didn't work out. They're not. They're not tricking though. They're not tricking, which is interesting. I do have rocks on Como, which I desperately want to get up. Sub, Leech Seed, Giga Drain, Leaf Storm. I'm going to use this. Uh, Como is good. I'm going to use this to get up rocks. Because I can beat this with Sylvia on 1v1. Exactly. They are Life Orb 2. So they're probably going to be 4 attacks with Earthquake. That's fine. We'll get up a rocks here. We could Poison Jab into Comfy, but that doesn't really matter. Oh no, not the Hitmon on top. Damn. It's alright. Free you. Maybe they have Toxic, but... They do. No worries, we're just gonna Scald. Potentially get a burn. I, I feel pretty good about my 5 versus their 5. Look at all the anti-Kyogre measures they have, though. Insane. They are Life Orb as well. Wow. But if I get a burn, they're dead. Perfect. And now I can go for a safe Slack Off. They might... Uh, actually, Teleport's better. If they Whether they Rapid Spin or not, Teleport's always better. Yep, because Sceptile comes out, and I can go Como. Como will literally live every hit, and I can go for a free Poison Jab, which will hit Comfy. Still hits Rotom. Does a lot to everything. And with Rocks up, I don't think I actually kill Comfy, but it'll be really, really close. And him on top, while it does have Intimidate, there's no freaking way it lives Poison Jab into that. Yeah, this is this is fine. Uh, they're trying to get me... I think they're trying to Leaf Storm me. Oh, that was an unfortunate crit, because that was actually a really good play. So they Leaf Storm to 37. They would have been an Overgrow after that. So that was actually a really good play, and I'm... I apologize about that. The Giga Drain to get back enough to put themselves in Overgrow, and then I think they would have been able to kill me with Leaf Storm. I would have switched, but still. Now I'm going to recognize a good play when I see one. 168, 149. Uh, just going to and be safe. They're probably just going to go him on top, but who cares? Iron Head's just my safest play, and they got to a rock type, so I definitely made the best play to Iron Head immediately. Yeah, so I look really good. Funnily enough, Kyogre still look like the worst Pokemon here. Um, Sora's Dance isn't a threat because I have Como, which is just barely faster, and Kyogre as well. Actually going to go Como now. I don't need it. And yeah, they Dynamax there. That's fine. Max Darkness, not going to mess me up. Uh, they have to win a Speed Tie, and actually they can't even KO me if they win a Speed Tie. Unless they're max steel spike, because they're swords dance, sucker punch, close combat, and stone. Yeah, they can't even KO me if they win a speed tie. No way this freaking kills at 37. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm about to say I'm a damn Como, bro. This mon, this mon is tanky. This mon MVPing it up too, by the way. MVPing it up. So yeah, it looks like we just straight up win now. Him on top comes out. I'm just going to clanging, and they forfeit. So we actually end up getting a little 6-0 there. Making us or making our way into the 1400s. Not bad. Not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. Let me see something real quick. I just want to get 
I really like this set, by the way, on Como, like the particular set we had. Uh, this is like, this set is really cool, but like Z moves, or was really cool with Z moves before. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Really good, uh, really good game so far. Uh, again, like it's crazy. They give me Kyogre, but then my opponent has a hundred Pokemon for it. <sighs> Threat and a half, buddy. Moonblast into Fire Blast is scary. Uh, we're always gonna go Among Us here. Among Us. Good Pokemon, fast Pokemon. You know, very fast Pokemon, which I like. Um, no ground immunities, but we do have a resistance, which is cool. And we have, you know, Scarfers and that's a good Pokemon. So Among Us comes out in the Moonblast. I'll live uh I'll live a fire bl uh, fire blast as well. If they're calm mine, it doesn't matter. I don't know if that was life orb. Like obviously I know I, they didn't take life orb, but because of magic guard is their ability. Um, they wouldn't be taking magic. Uh, they wouldn't be taking life orb, so. What if I can calc? Let's find out. Spore is relatively free unless they have like an overcoat Pokemon like Mana Buzz. There's a Fire Blast at 62. Okay, yeah, that is... Uh, <laughs> that is 1,000%. That is 1,000% uh, Life Orb. I'm going to Toxic once because I expect them to bring out something that would come in well on Among Us, and obviously it was Colossal, so I'm glad we got that. Uh, speaking of Colossal, that is a... <laughs> colossal threat oh what the hell man okay so i wasn't laughing at my own joke i was coughing <laughs> i do laugh at my own jokes but i was definitely coughing there that's a big threat man uh they could willow immediately don't really have a switch in i'd rather go drake as well if they overheat i'm fine and they overheat there no big deal uh earthquake is safe we're gonna go for the bolt beak is cool I really like Earthquake, but I don't have good flying switch-ins if they end up bringing something. Ah, I'm just going to go for Earthquake. If I land, it was a great play, yeah. So we get rid of Colossal, awesome. Again, a giant threat for Celebi, a giant threat for Among Us, and we still have Regenerate on Among Us too. Clef comes out, which has not burnt a turn. This is a, I'll take the Fire Blast as well. Going to synthesize once, that way I can, and I'm going to Spore here, expecting them to wake up, exactly. Perfect. So, we can Sludge Bomb now. Do a good chunk to them. 4 3 is not bad. Whew! They do get the third turn wake, which is, I mean, fair. But basically, I can spam Sludge Bomb. And unfortunately for my opponent, they miss Fire Blast. That's, you know, that's the. That's what I, I had a crit too, so even if they softball that turn, I, I killed them. Yo! No! Oh my god, this mon goes crazy versus... Among Us is insane here. We're just gonna Toxic. It doesn't matter if they bulk up into jungle healing. Um, none of that matters. Cloyster's a giant threat, though. Like an insane threat. Like, actually an insane threat on me, bro. I'm assuming they go for Darkest Larry here. Oh, they just jungle healing, but unfortunately, my friend... Yeah, you do not live that way. So Among Us, this is why Among Us is broken, bro. This is why Among Us is one of the best mons ever. Like, legitimately. You know they banned Sleep? Like, Spore and... Uh, like, they legitimately banned Sleep from Gen 5 because of this Pokemon in Brethren. Crazy, right? All right, 14, 20, not bad at all. Among Us went insane that game. Literally insane. What did it do? It beat Clefable. It beat Zarude. It toxic uh, the other mon. So that's cool. These guys are never physical. Good to know. Oh, I have a Dracovish. I never like getting Dracovish in these because it's always banded. You need to make a scarf, guys. We're going to get up rocks here. I'm assuming they do very similar. Just rocks are great. Obviously, we get the 25% on them. Okay, cool. Uh, They could bring out a steel type, which I don't actually switch in too well too, but I don't have Dracovish. So I'll go for toxic ones. Maybe a fighter comes out. Yeah, there's the fighter. I, I have to go Silvali. These guys are usually Flame Orb, from what I remember. No, nope, this is Leftovers. Okay, so it's Rest Talk. With Circle Throw, most likely. It might go for Knock Off first. And it does have Guts. So this is actually... This is actually a little bit scary. This might I have to weaken to win, for sure. They do Circle Throw me out. Into my Obama Snow. Which is un... Eh. They're just gonna do it again, right? I'd rather, I'd rather get a Veil, if possible. Because whatever I bring out... Can live a hit. <laughs> Not you. 
Oh, they're guts. I shouldn't take this. Ah, this is annoying. They might rest, though, so I'll still go so volley. Plus, I can SD. Come on, bring out the Vish or bring out not Chansey. <laughs> no, I can get up a Veil later. This is not the play. Circle Throw always goes last. Fine, whatever. I'll softball. This is this is this is a devil softball. All right, they rested. Cool. So, I just want to stay healthy because I don't want to lose to a special attacker. Please don't pull the the move. Honestly, please don't pull anything. Just pull rest. Thank you. I'm just gonna simply multi attack because I'm scared as hell. This mon is annoying, and they have a skunk tank. All right, so bulk up you looks incredibly good here. Can't really touch you, which is unfortunate. Crunch, defog, toxic. I really feel like bulk up Obstagoon goes insane. But I'm going to go hard Sharpedo first. Like, this is something I might use in the end game. But what I don't want to happen is I want this thing to be burnt, right? I don't want it to be. Uh, I do not want it to be. Uh, what's it called? Poisoned. Because burn will do less. Especially because I'm having the idea uh, situation or the, the ideal situation is I have veil up and everything too. Ooh, I'm sorry, my friend. If I somehow land this hydro pump, yeah, you are getting cooked. This boy got cooked, and it gets killed by the crunch after. They're smart to save this, but I'm glad to get one of the, the priority mons gone. But yeah, Sharpedo, very scary Pokemon. It looks like Fishy's Rain gets a kill, right? Whenever it comes out, whenever Dragovish comes out, it looks like it gets a kill. Oh, especially now that they gave me Pelipper. Woo! Do I Hydro here on the Skun Tank? Nah. We get And we got Rain up too. <laughs> Yo, Sharpedo look crazy! Bro, you can't form it there. You can't form it there. Bro, we went on a... <laughs> What's going on? Why'd you form it so early? Like, I, the crit didn't matter. I still 2 a KO'd you. Or at least close. I'd probably kill you with Hydro Pump, to be honest. But, yeah, so my game plan there, especially because they got a brain, was getting Dracovish versus throw. I'm choice ban. Fish's run is doubled in power if it goes first, right? So it's absolutely amazing when it goes first. You do a ton of damage to them, uh, potentially just smashing everything. Fasten this, fasten this. The Skun Tank can't kill me. And in rain, Fish's run will kill even prior, like even without the double damage. Um, but the big thing I was going for was obviously the Obstagoon. Uh, the obstacle play. Also, isn't it very funny? They gave me a Chansey, and my opponent has like the rest talk fighter that can beat it. Uh, a toxic skun tank that can't be talked about, and a potentially SD Scizor. Like, I feel like the, the better Pokemon they gave me, like Chansey and, and Kyogre and things like that in this live, didn't really end up doing as much as the others. But we end it at 1439 or 1440, 18 0. So, I mean, the ideal situation is they go 30 0 as we keep going but i mean obviously we're not anywhere high up on the ladder at all we're not even i would consider mid ladder of of the random battles ladder basically around the 1600 so 16 to 1700 i would consider mid ladder 1800s to 19 i consider like mid high and then anything above 19 to the 2000 plus range, I consider high ladder, right? So we're on our way there. I do hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, of course, make sure you leave a like. And again, feel free to pick up my Draco Shaker as well. And I think Best Buy also has like some sales. So if you guys want to use my affiliate links, feel free to use it. Uh, you can buy anything using my affiliate links and you'll support me. So appreciate ya. I'll see you guys in the next episode. That's it. Goodbye, my friends.